A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Zamzam of spiritual knowledge. Excerpts from the teachings of Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi al-Karkari. A disciple inquires, How can I rid myself of the hypocrisy ingrained in me by society and my upbringing? Is this hypocrisy the result of the evil eye, sorcery, or greed? Sidi Shaykh responds as follows. The seeker must recognize that the root of this issue lies within his own nafs, or soul. It's the outcome of personal thoughts. True, sorcery and greed are real, but the seeker should remember that the influence of shaitan or Satan is quite weak, as the Holy Quran mentions. He should also understand that the sorcerer never triumphs, regardless of his or her location. Allah Jalla Jalla states in Surah Taha, verse 69, What they have conjured up is merely a magician's trick, and the magician will not thrive, no matter where he goes. One should internally dismiss these vices as non-existent, ignore them to rest his intellect, and stop thinking about them. One should always view his parents positively, irrespective of his personality. The seeker should also realize that the vices leading to his downfall originate not from others, but from within himself. This principle is echoed in the Quran, Surah An-Nisa, verse 79. Whatever good you receive is from Allah, and whatever evil befalls you is from yourself. The reality is this disciple has always adapted like a chameleon to attain worldly goals and desires. Evil should always be seen as emanating from one's ego and soul. The Prophet, peace be upon him, describes the traits of a hypocrite in a hadith reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim in their Sahih, as per Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anh. The Prophet, peace be upon him, stated, Whoever possesses these four traits is a complete hypocrite. And anyone who has any of these traits has an aspect of hypocrisy until it is abandoned. Betrayal when entrusted, lying when speaking, being treacherous in agreements, and acting rudely and insultingly in disputes. This indicates that a hypocrite is fundamentally a liar, failing to honor commitments made to the Lord. Additionally, a person who resorts to insults, physical aggression, and who unleashes his filthy darkness during a debate exhibits traits of hypocrisy. Betraying trust is another characteristic of a hypocrite. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has provided remedies to cure hypocrisy. When a Muslim commits, he must honor his commitment as the Qur'an dictates, like the commitment to the word in Allah's path, or else it's a betrayal to the Prophet, peace be upon him. A Muslim must refrain from lying. The Prophet, peace be upon him, advised, speak good or remain silent. Good in this context means speaking the truth. If a believer entrusts us with a deposit and we agree to take it on, we must act responsibly towards it in the sight of Allah Jalla Jalla and never neglect it. Similarly, as instructed by the Prophet, peace be upon him, we should love him more than our own selves, our wealth, our children, and our parents. This responsibility must never be neglected. One who becomes enraged in a debate and fails to control his anger should redo his ablutions, and if insufficient, perform ghusl, or full ablution, with cold water, reciting the prayer of the beloved, peace be upon him, O Allah, cleanse me of my sins with water, snow, and ice. Those who follow these pieces of advice will heal from hypocrisy and remove it from their hearts. This will impact all members of their family, for just as they might have been the cause of their decline, their new behavior in accordance with the directives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, will be the cause of their prosperity.